Hello everyone, welcome to our virtual communion breaking of bread service on this Good Friday. I do wish you all a happy Good Friday as families. Um, thank you for taking the time and, and joining in with this. It's nice to be able to do this even in, in a strange way in different houses. Let's just start with a word of prayer. Just thank the Lord for this time and then I'll explain what's going to happen. So Father, we thank you for this Good Friday. We thank you the day that we remember that you gave your life for us on the cross. Lord, we thank you that you loved us so much that you gave your life, Lord, for us. Lord, we thank you for this chance together. Even though we're in different houses, we are still your church and your family, Lord, to just come and break bread and remember you and what you've done for us on this day. Bless each person, each family, I pray as they take part. In Jesus' name, amen. So what should follow this is a song sung by Martin and then Jane's going to read a reading um, from the Last Supper from Luke and then I'll talk through the communion and actually give time for breaking bread and taking the wine between you in your homes and families. So all right, um, over to Martin and I'll talk to you later.
22 from the Living Bible. And now the Passover celebration was drawing near. The Jewish festival when only bread made without yeast was used. The chief priests and other religious leaders were actively plotting Jesus' murder, trying to find a way to kill him without starting a riot, a possibility they greatly feared. Then Satan entered into Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve disciples, and he went over to the chief priests and captains of the temple guards to discuss the best way to betray Jesus to them. They were, of course, delighted to know that he was ready to help them and promised him a reward. So he began to look for an opportunity for them to arrest Jesus quietly when the crowds weren't around. Now the day of the Passover celebration arrived, when the Passover lamb was killed and eaten with the unleavened bread. Jesus sent Peter and John ahead to find a place to prepare their Passover meal. Where do you want us to go? they asked. And he replied, As soon as you enter Jerusalem, you will see a man walking along, carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house he enters, and say to the man who lives there, Our teacher says for you to show us the guest room where we can eat the Passover meal with his disciples. He will take you upstairs to a large room all ready for us. This is the place. Go ahead and prepare the meal there. They went off to the city and found everything just as Jesus had said and prepared the Passover supper. Then Jesus and the other, others arrived and at the proper time all sat down together at a table. And he said, I have looked forward to this hour with deep longing, anxious to eat this Passover meal with you before my suffering begins. For I tell you now, that I won't eat it again until what it represents has occurred in the kingdom of heaven. Then he took a glass of wine, and when he had given thanks for it, he said, Take this and share it among yourselves, for I will not drink wine again until the kingdom of God has come. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had thanked God for it, he broke it apart and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Eat it in remembrance of me. After supper, he gave them another glass of wine, saying, This wine is the token of God's new agreement to save you, an agreement sealed with the blood I shall pour out to purchase back your souls. But here at this table, sitting among us as a friend, is the man who will betray me. I must die. It is part of God's plan. Right, welcome back. Thank you very much to Martin and for Jane. So we're now at the point we're actually going to break bread together. And just like, this is just like Jesus did at that last supper with his disciples. Just like we heard about in the reading. So the first thing Jesus did was to give thanks. So let's pray and give thanks for the bread and the wine. Father, we thank you that you're the one who provides the simple things of the bread and the wine for this meal. Lord, we thank you for this chance to remember you and what you have done for us, Lord. We thank you for the bread that represents your body broken for us, and Lord, for the wine and juice that represents your blood that was shed for us. Father, just bless now each person, Lord, as they take this meal into themselves, and draw close to them, I pray, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so Jesus, with his disciples, took the bread and broke it. And he gave it to his disciples as take eat. This is my body broken for you. If you want to do that now with the bread that you've got in your families. And just remember Jesus' body broken for you. If you need to pause at this point, you can, and then carry on. And then likewise, after supper, Jesus took the cup and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you can in remembrance of me. 
This is my blood shed for the forgiveness of your sins. The blood of Jesus shed for each of you. You can now pass round the cup. Right, feel free to, to finish by hugging, greeting one another. If you're on your own, hug yourself and imagine it's somebody else. Um, but thank you for taking the time. Do keep thinking about Jesus. Um, he's here all the time, not just when we do something like this. Thank you again for everybody that's done anything on the WhatsApp, sharing words, sharing songs, sharing little snippets of crafts and things I've been doing and, and encouraging things. Please carry on doing that. It means so much, I know, to everybody that, that's reading them and that. Um, but the Lord really bless you um, as we go through the rest of Good Friday into Easter Saturday and then to Easter Sunday morning, which will seem so strange not to be able to be together. But let's really just continue praying for one another, encouraging one another. And Father, I just pray again, just thank you for everybody who's part of your family, everybody taking part now everybody lord who we love in your family in the church i ask again your special protection over every one of them lord in every way for their health their protection against the virus lord just your blessing and help being in home shut in home and, and everybody together lord we just pray for this special time that you would draw close to us and draw us close to you and to seek you lord and that you would really just touch our hearts and our lives in jesus name Amen. Bless you all.